What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. So, I don't know if you guys are sick of these videos yet, but every time I go back and look at the dev live stream, and yes, I'm still looking at it, I seem to pull little nuggets of information out of this live stream that I feel like are good to bring to the community and to share with you guys so you know what's up and coming in Update 3.0, also known as the Age of Sorcery. Now, during this part of the live stream, they're actually talking about the attributes and how that was reworked. But we get a nugget about how the different weapons are going to work in Conan Exiles in the future. So let's watch this clip and then I'll come back and discuss a little bit about what I think they may be doing with the weapons in Update 3.0. A lot of questions about uh, bow builds like with accuracy and how that is now changed. Yeah, that's an important thing. Good question. Uh, so we took all the weapons in the game and we put them in one of two categories. A weapon is now either primarily a strength weapon or an agility weapon. So if you want to be a character that is primarily, you know, an agile sneaky jerk who runs around and stabs things in the back, you don't even need to invest in strength anymore if you don't want to. You can just invest in agility and then spend the rest of your points in all the utility and survival based things and the other attributes. That being said, you can invest in strength, and if you do, you'll get about an extra 10% damage on top. Mm -hmm. But the vast majority of the damage for those agile weapons will come from agility. Bows are included as agile weapons, and you will get increased damage from increasing agility. There is no more, as you can see, no more accuracy attribute. It's all rolled into agility together. So many, Sorry, people, are, clapping. So many people are like, I'm a sneaky jerk. I'm yeah, a sneaky me jerk. too. Rogue main, <laughs> by the way. Sorry, guys. I'm just a, I'm just a jerk. <laughs> period oh. <laughs> i'm i'm more of the the unga bunga. yeah yeah and, <laughs> and you can unga bunga strength out as much as you want hell yeah and good. you know be just as strong as you were before if you also put points into agility just like agility gets more damage from strength strength gets more damage from agility as well there's about an extra 10 percent uh shave there you can get but it comes at a cost because if you spend those full 20 points into agility just to get a little more damage you lose a lot of utility and vitality, mm -hmm. grit, um, you know, all the other all the other attributes have a lot to offer, you'll find. So not only is this an interesting change, it's also a big change. This is a huge change when it comes to weapons because if you're someone like me who bounces between a lot of different weapon types, you're not just going to be able to do that and have the same damage. So each weapon is going to have a type. He mentions strength weapons and agility weapons. And in order to use that weapon well, you need to invest in that specific type. Now, my guess is that daggers are going to end up in agility, just like he says bows with accuracy are going to end up in agility. Likely all your ranged weapons, so throwing axes and knives are also going to end up in agility as well. I think it's probably also safe to say that your big two-handed mace or your big two-handed sword are going to end up in the strength category. So you're not going to be able to just necessarily swap between, say, daggers or a bow and a two-handed sword and be dealing the same amount of damage unless, like Dennis says, you are investing your points into both strength and agility and getting both of those damage perks leveled up. So what this is really going to do is give you a type of play style. So if you want to be, they use the term sneaky jerk, you are going to end up going into agility. And then if you want to be, say, a brute, you're going to end up going into strength. Now, I highly doubt that many people are going to find that putting a bunch of points in strength and putting a bunch of points in agility really makes sense. Yes, you could pick up whatever weapon you want to and deal a ton of damage, but you are going to lose out, like he said, on vitality. You are not going to have as much hit points as you could if you decide to settle into a single weapon type. Now, there'll likely be some wiggle room with this as it comes to different equipment. So, the way that equipment works in Update 3.0, as far as I can tell from their description, is that instead of giving you attribute points, 
that you can then use to unlock certain perks, you get the damage or the bonus from that weapon. So you will lose out on unlocking those perks in that perk tree, but you're still going to get a bonus or a buff based on that weapon type and what attributes it used to buff. I'm not entirely sure how this system's gonna look and how this system's going to work. And it'll be interesting to dive into that once I get my hands on update 3.0 and can actually start testing it. Speaking of that, right now, I'm already working on a list of videos of content that I should be focused on putting out for you guys once I do get my hands on update 3.0. So if you have a question or a recommendation for a video topic, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. I'd like to thank all my YouTube members for your continued support. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button that says join on this page. Click that for details. There's two videos on the screen. Click one of those to watch next and I'll meet you over there.